Yo, so guys, welcome back to another um, North American qualifying, like CONCACAF qualifying, World Cup qualifying reaction. And this is the US versus Honduras. 3 0 highlights. I didn't actually know the result until I clicked this video to sort of do the reaction. And when I searched this up before that, I didn't know. All I knew is that Pulisic was dropped. And then I swear he scored after like a few minutes. I remember just seeing it pop up. I remember when he did, like, when I saw he hadn't started. It was just quite a big thing. Because obviously, Pulisic is. One of the key players, he's always expected to start, right? But um, going into this reaction, I don't actually know the, the, the score in the Canada game, so I'm going to try and avoid that. But you look at the lineup skin. It's Stefan, he's still like, he's just not been caught. I know he wasn't caught up before, but I was wondering if he maybe he'd be caught up after. So Turner started all the games. So the back, you got Cannon, the player who's at Boa Vista, right? Yeah. I remember, in, I remember him and my football manager save. Absolute baller for me. Um, Zinnemann, Robinson, and then Anthony Robinson. Acosta, McKenney, De La Torre, Morris, Pepe. So Pepe's actually started for the first time in this, in the qualifiers. And then Weyer, which uh, was, was Pulisic dropped purely on like his performances recently? Was that like a, a purely like, this, the decision was purely on his recent form? Because that's a wild ass decision. Then Ar Aronson was dropped as well. And Ferreira came on. And Dest, Dest wasn't starting either. Were well, some of these just players that just weren't giving like breaks or what? Musa wasn't starting. Or was it just squad rotation or anything? Because this was a very important game. If the US didn't win this, which they obviously didn't, they looking at this, they absolutely dominated. Jesus Christ. Um, they would have been in big trouble. I mean, I, I don't want to. I'm going to look at the table after the Canada game, the reaction that I do, because I've not done anything to that yet. So I'm going to look then just so I can sort of have a little surprise. I know Canada won, but I don't know what the score was or anything. We've got McKenny, Zimmerman, and Pulisic. We're going to get into the reaction. I've got the audio off, and I'm going to have to like sort of skip through a bit. But what are your thoughts on the game? I know a lot of uh, USMNT fans are not happy with the coach, to say the least. Very unhappy people with how, like his selection process and all this kind of stuff. I feel like people say he has like favourites and stuff. I think um, Zardes. He, because he used to be the, the coach or the manager at um, Columbus Crew, and I think he was like, had like a f relationship with Zardes then. And people are saying that's possibly why he's been picking him in certain times. But we're going to get into the reaction, and we're just going to see what, what went down in this game. That's an absolute ping. Oh, he didn't reach him. I was thinking for a second, who pinged that? Was it Robin? No, it wasn't Robinson. That's nice. McKenny. Go on, son. Thought he, if he actually made that, though. Alright, so what's happening here, then? This is like a site that I think is like a third-party site, so I'm trying to be careful with the reaction. That's a head... Bro, bro, what is it with McKenny and headers, man? I know this is irrelevant, but I need to see his heading stats on, on FIFA. McKenny. Because, bro, I swear, whenever I see highlights, he's always... Kenny. He's always scoring headers. He's not even that tall. And he just manages to just... A, so it, it sort of represents it. But go on, give him a 90, man. He's always scoring damn headers. This guy just can't stop himself. That's, an, that's a proper good header too. Oh, <laughs> he's such a badass. This man's playing in a damn mask. What were the conditions for this game, actually? Sorry, I'm pausing again. I swear it was like... Versus Honduras. It was like... Like, Antarctica cold. USA face outrage from Honduras over making them play in... <laughs> minus 19 degrees Celsius. The absolute shithousery, man. you got to do it. I love that. Because I swear Honduras is a proper hot, hot country as well. So they're probably not used to anything like this at all. I mean, I wouldn't be used to this. With two visiting players forced off with hypothermia. Others needing IV drips. This cannot be real. Bruh, where did they play Alaska? Where was this game? Where was this game? Where the hell was this game? Minnesota. <laughs> Oh, that is that is the beauty, the dark arts of the game. You love to see it, bro. Oh, that's crazy. He's playing in a mask. That is so badass. 
Got his ski mask on and everything, bro. It's like he's gonna rob a prison. Rob a prison? Rob a shop. How is it so cold and there's no snow at all? Maybe they're under so heating and stuff. Oh! Oh, that's nasty, man. Oh, that's a save. Bro, being a goalkeeper in these conditions must be the worst thing, too. See, I would watch these high. I want to be really careful because I know this might get blocked because it's not posted from the US account. It's just like. That'd have been a nice goal. It's just like. um, a, Probably an account that shouldn't be able to post this kind of thing. You know what I mean? I don't have to explain it. Gone for the bicey, bro. So, yeah, this is all the US here, man. It's all legit all the US. Oh, that's proper Stoke City, man. You love to see it. <laughs> Got the bonuses and everything. But these are the sort of... These are the sort of, like... You want these goals sometimes. Because when you score, like, all the clean, like, well-played goals, it's sort of like, okay, we can do that. But we want to do the sort of the, the nasty stuff. It just sort of pushes them out the way. It's good to see that you can sort of do not. The, I don't want to say the dark arts because it's just like a, a rebound and stuff. But oh, who is this? Is this Swayer again? What's he doing here? He's just dancing on the pitch. <laughs> He's pinged it. Oh, mate. I want to watch stuff. I'm just scared it's gonna get. But I really don't. Want, I want to be able to post this stuff, man. What's Figueroa playing? I'm gonna look after actually. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Oh, that's deflected away, to be fair. <laughs> About to say, Peppy, what are you doing? Yeah, this is all the damn US, bro. This could have been way more. Their goalie looks small as hell. So this is when he comes on. And he's got, bro, the US love a set piece. Every time I watch them, I remember the Mexico game, they, they always score from set pieces. I don't know if it's because they're defending in the CONCACAF is really bad from set pieces or what, but they always seem to just score from set pieces. And it's as soon as he comes in as well. You can't expect anything more from, from Starboy there, man. And yeah, that's the reaction. Again, I could do a, full, like, a longer reaction of these videos in future. But they would probably be have to be like, probably have to be posted on my um Patreon if I ever do them. Um, but let me know your thoughts on that because again, this I don't know what this channel is, but you know what I mean when I say it's not the main account. I was I was looking on the USMNT YouTube and there was nothing there, so I thought I accidentally click this one. <laughs> I don't know if I was going to get me in trouble or what, but I enjoyed the reaction. Let's just see if Figueroa was playing. He was. I can't believe Main or Figueroa is still playing. You got Ellis, who's probably the most notable player who plays for Bordeaux. How is he doing at Bordeaux? What's his? Oh sh! Wait, what? This this is very irrelevant, but this is. Oh geez, he's doing bits because I know Bordeaux are like they're like seventeenth. They're on the like, on on possibly going to get relegated this year. Jeez, he's been 53 times and how old is he? 25, god damn. So yeah, he's a good player. He's actually a very good player. What the, that's really surprised me. But, um, Weston McKenney and Tim Weah are playing outstanding in these important games. We need to stop having to get, we need to stop ha stop having to get pushed in a corner before we start having results like this. Good on the boys for getting it done. One, one more window to go. And I mean, I'm going to leave it there because again, I'm going to look at the table the CONCACAF table after this. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to do the reaction on the the Canada, Canada, Canada game now. Um, if you want to just skip to like near the end, I should, I'll probably do it at the start. Now I'll, do, I'll look at the table at the end. So if you want to just skip to the end of that video, if you're interested in me sort of talking about that, let me know. I'll sort of look at the future fixtures and stuff. I know the US are playing Mexico soon. I don't know if it's the next game or what, but they're playing them soon, which will be the next international break. But yeah, that'll all be there if you're interested. 
Hopefully you enjoyed. If you're from if you're from the US and you were watching this game, hopefully this has calmed you down a bit because I know it probably was a bit like getting a little bit worried. You're still thinking, yeah, this will be fine. We're gonna go through. We're too good. But there's that little sort of worry that oh, not this all, not all over again, man. Not Trinidad and Tobago all over again. I knew it wasn't gonna happen because this team is a young team. You're gonna have ups and downs, but. You're going to get through. Just I don't really think it matters that much where you finish. It's just getting to the World Cup. Because you obviously get through to this World Cup. Next World Cup, I'm pretty sure you get a free pass, right? But we'll see. Hopefully you enjoy this reaction in the end. Next time. Peace.